Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Why did you say that's so serious? Because this is a very serious story about oh. glow in the dark roads. Okay. I'm Lee Newton. Nighttime driving is receiving a fantastical upgrade as Glow in the Dark Roads just made their flashy debut on a 500 meter stretch of Netherland Highway. Highway lines on the road look like they were laid down by a wizard on the loose, but in actuality they're a paint mixed with a photoluminescent powder. And that powder spends its days sucking in sunlight, which charges up the lines and allows them to produce a mighty nighttime glow that lasts up to eight hours, creating an almost fantasy-like atmosphere. Tron! It's Tron! Yeah, it's basically Tron. This is the official testing phase of the Glow in the Dark Roads, which came to light <laughs> after the government decided it needed to save money and energy. One of the ways they were going to do that was by shutting off street lights at night. But they also encouraged innovation to come up with a solution. That's where interactive artist Don Roosgaard came in with his art brain. He teamed up with a Dutch civil engineering team and they generated a bunch of nifty ideas, including the Glow in the Dark Roads, as well as paint that would reveal big snowflakes on roadways when the weather dipped down to a, a certain temperature. Cool. CBQ. Roosgaard said, One day I was sitting in my car in the Netherlands, and I was amazed by these roads that we spent millions on, but no one seems to care what they look like and how they behave. I started imagining this Route 66 of the future where technology jumps out of the computer screen and becomes a part of us. That's your Dutch? I don't know Dutch. If the paint meets certain safety standards and of course doesn't cost too much, these fantasy roads could be illuminating internationally sometime in the near future. My hope is that these roads make it up to the Lapland region of Finland, way up in the Arctic Circle, because that's where Finnish reindeer herders are slathering the antlers of reindeer with glow-in-the-dark reflective spray in hopes to avoid thousands of car on Rudolph accidents. So we could get this plus this, and it would equal awesome. And it would become the I'm just gonna do some mind-altering stuff and see what happens capital of the world. Hey, we can't drive anywhere. All these crazy hippies are touching reindeers. <laughs> oh. You guys, what else should we throw glow in the dark paint on to like make the world better? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click that like and subscribe button. Click the sanitation. Head on over to sourcefed.com. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Joe Beretta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I think we should throw glow in the dark tape on? What? She's pointing at her boobs. <laughs>